Hello everyone. Now, today we are going to see the inversion method, that is the graphical method for synthesis of any mechanism. Here, synthesis, synthesis process of any mechanism can be done in two parts, either by analytically and by graphical. So, by graphical method, there are two methods, that is inversion and relative pole method. And in this case, we are dealing for, with first method, that is the inversion method. Now, in the inversion method, this method is applicable. Now, we are going to see for the four bar chain mechanism and the offset ladder crank chain mechanism. So, here uh, for the four bar chain mechanism, now this is directly the problem, graphical problem solved. So, here this is the four bar chain mechanism in which the link AD is fixed, link AB is cranked, then link BC is the coupler, and the link CD is the rocker or the output link. So here, the for the given statement problem here, I we will be knowing the fixed link length. Then afterwards, we'll be knowing the length of the crank. Then there are now this uh, synthesis process we have done for the three position of the crank. So here, theta is the first position. Means here, if you see, this theta is the first position of the crank. Then theta one two. This this theta two three is nothing but the second uh, second position. And theta 1, 3 is the third position of the crank. Means here crank angle is denoted by theta. And the output angle made by this rocker link with respect to fixed will be 5. So here for this uh, problem, we'll be knowing the length of the fixed link. Then we'll be knowing the length of the crank. Then we'll be knowing the initial position of the crank. Then we'll be knowing the second and third position of the crank. Then afterwards, second part we'll be knowing for the second and third position of the crank, what will be the position of the output link? So we here will be knowing the second position of the output link. And then afterwards, we'll be knowing the third position of the output link. So here, after plotting the uh, first, uh, second and third position of the crank, then here we have to join this B2 point to D, second position of the crank, and B3 point to D, the third position of the crank. Then, with reference uh, to this uh, particular uh, line that is B3D and B2D, here we have to take the output angle for second position as well as output angle for the third position. So after plotting the angles, we have to draw the lines which will be joined at this point D. So B3 and then afterwards with the help of compass, we have to just mark an arc which will cut that line. Now suppose if you just take compass here, uh, with center here, and draw an arc. So this arc for B3 will join the B3 dash line here. And then arc drawn from B2 with center D will join this uh, reference means this line B2 dash at this point. Then afterwards, after getting the point B3 dash and B2 dash, what is the next step? Here B1 is the initial position. Now from this B1 initial position, you have to join B1, B2 dash. And then from B2 dash to B3 dash. Means first of all, join B1 to B2 dash. And then from B2 dash to B3 dash. Then after joining these two lines, you have to draw the perpendicular bisector to this B2 dash, B3 dash, and B1 dash, B1, B2 dash. To these two respective lines, you have to draw the perpendicular bisector. So B1, B2 dash perpendicular bisector is this. And B2 dash, B3 dash perpendicular bisector is this. So both of these two lines will be intersecting at this point. So here you will be getting the point C1. So this C1 indicates the first position of this coupler point C. Then afterwards you have to join this B1 to C1, then C1 to D. After getting this, now we will be getting the angle, output angle made by this rocker or output link with reference to this fixed link. So in this way, we will be dealing for the Alice for the graphical method for inversion method of four bar chain mechanism. Now we will see the offset ladder crank chain mechanism inversion method. Here also the problem has been solved, but here what is the given data? For for example, here you have to take any reference line. This this uh, A point is the reference means uh, common point anywhere you can take in the plane. Then here for this offset ladder crank chain mechanism, as the name indicates, there is some offset. So this is offset, this is not in line. So here offset eccentricity is given as 20 mm in the problem. Then you have to draw the two lines, which will be parallel to each other, having eccentricity equal to given, given in the statement. 
given in the statement okay that will be equal to 20 ml right then afterwards uh, we here we know that a point is located anywhere then two reference line we have drawn having eccentricity e equal to 20 then here you have to take the first position of this slider that is c1 and from this first position you will be knowing the second position of the slider and you will be knowing the third position of the slider so here you have to directly plot the second and the third position of the slider with reference to this position that is c1 you have to get the distance of c2 and c3 with reference to this c1 and then afterwards here as we know theta is the angle made by the crank so here the first position of the crank and third position of crank is known first position is given as 30 degree means second position is given as 30 degree and third position is given as 60 degree so, so then afterwards here uh, you have to join you have to join this a point you have to join this a point to this c2 and a point to this c3 okay then afterwards if we here we are knowing the second position of the crank and third position so from this reference line suppose if you take a to c2 then from this reference line you have to mark angle theta 1 to as 30 degree so this is 30 degree and then from point a to c3 you have to mark an angle as 60 degree so this is 60 degree okay then afterwards by taking compass with center a you have to draw an arc which will be passing through this point c2 and it will cut this line at c2 dash then with uh, center distance means with uh, center as point a then here from c3 you will be marking an arc which will cut this line at c3 dash then afterwards getting the point c2 dash and c3 dash here you have to just draw the lines joining c1 to c2 dash and then c1 to c3 dash ahead c1 to c2 dash and c1 to c3 dash which has been joined ahead at top point top side and now to these two lines suppose c1 to c2 dash you have to draw one perpendicular bisector and for c1 to c3 dash you have to draw another perpendicular bisector so both of these perpendicular bisectors they will be meeting at this point so this point will be nothing but what b point so the b point is the initial position of the crank then here you have to join a to b with dark line and then b to c1 so from second and third position you will be getting the first position of the slider crank chain mechanism so in this inversion method what what is the basic part here we will be knowing the second and third position as well as initial position for four bar chain mechanism and from the second and third position you will be getting the first position so such method is called as inversion method for your study purpose only these two mechanisms we have considered that is four bar chain mechanism and offset slider crank chain mechanism thank you